and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the only podcast on Forbes' best podcast list. The man in front of me is on numerous lists. We're going to get to that in a second. Comedy legend, Mike Ward. I am Mike Ward. You are Pantelis, and our friend over there is only on one list. <laughs> and I got a lot of people in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you and uh, you're Poseidon. Yay, I am. <laughs> so uh, we just got back from a week's long journey. Yeah. yeah. On the Mike Ward Noir tour of the north coast of Quebec. We fucked up my tour bus. Everything that could break on the tour bus broke. We left young, yeah. virile, happy, my strong. My hair was jet black. I yeah. weighed 114 <laughs> pounds. We were hard. Yeah. On the way back, we had no more muffler. The stairs had broken. We lost uh, a headlight. <laughs> the the propane tank started leaking. Nearly exploded. <laughs> yeah. We were scraping, but we made it home. Yeah, we did make it home. Yeah. Three plane rides, two boat rides later, we made it home. It was a fun experience. Yeah. But goddamn, was it tiring? Yeah. There's yeah. something like I really like the fact that I get to travel uh, to all like parts of Quebec that you'd never go if if you if you didn't if you, you weren't in comedy. Yeah. But uh, I love visiting those places, but every time I go, I'm like, why the fuck don't I go in the summer? Like, yeah. in the summertime, it must be amazing going up north. This time of year, it's fucking, like, it was minus 30 some days. Yeah, one day it was minus 30 something. Jesus Christ. This, like, when we're in Fairmount, the sun goes down at 2.15 yeah. in the afternoon. Yeah, I was going to say 2.15 at night, because that's, like, it's. <laughs> When the sun goes down, it's nighttime. Yeah. But it, yeah, fucked up my sleeping schedule. Dude, it fucked up everything. I was, uh, Fairmont was, um, it was fun to meet the people. The people were all cool. A lot of podcast fans, uh, everyone there works their ass off. So that was fun, but man, it was far and cold and yeah. gloomy. Uh, but I had fun. I had a lot of fun, made a lot of memories on this, on this road trip. Crowds were, then people were really nice. Yeah. I was happy how everyone knew you. That was like that, weird, yeah. That was funny, walking around Fairmount. That's like, it's, <laughs> how far is that? That's like fucking, that's like, that's a 22-hour car ride from Montreal. <laughs> and people were like, hey, Pantelis. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were asking about Poseidon, yeah. too. It was fucking crazy. It was fun. And Poseidon got to see a woman uh, pull down her pants and urinate in front of him. Yeah. yeah. So it's winds all around. Where was that? It was in Setil. Yeah, Setil. Yeah, and that was at R- night, right? That was yeah. in front of the hotel. Okay, right yeah. in front of the hotel, yeah. 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 And did she only did that because you asked? No, no. <laughs> did you have to pay? Or she, that was a, uh, she pro bono. That was a freebie. $12 <laughs> I had to pay for the so trial So this version. lady, you were smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Some drunk lady was like, hey, it's pee time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was smoking a cigarette. She started off by asking me for a cigarette. And then as she asked me for a cigarette, uh, I was like, what the fuck? And then she goes... Ah, ah, she started freaking out. Ah, 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 and oh, wait, wait. I'm like, what the fuck? She turns around, she goes behind the awning, pulls down her pants, and just starts urinating. But the awning is like see through plastic, yeah, right? It's yeah, it's like red, it's red, but it's still see through. It's okay. basically, there's nothing <laughs> Is it red because her friend was menstruating? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just full of fucking body. It's disgusting. It's just liquids. <laughs> Just peeing everywhere. I was surprised it wasn't brown. Fuck. <laughs> so then she peed, and then she came back, or did you fuck you left? So she peed. She well, because I had just I had just sparked my cigarette, right? I'm like, I'm gonna finish this fucking cigarette, and it was one of the warmer days, so I went out with just like a a tracksuit, right? It wasn't one of the warmer days. It was the middle of the night. It was, like, was 3.30 in the morning. This was, this was Setzil, which is the yeah. coldest place in North America. It wasn't that it was <laughs> cold. It was in the morning. So yeah. it was, but it was like minus. It was, it you, was freezing. We, we'd come back from Fairmount that was like minus 30. So it was probably minus 28. Yeah. Minus yeah. 25. Yeah, the two degrees difference. With the wind warmer. chill. Wind <laughs> ch- is it wind chill or wind shear? I think it's wind chill. Wind, wind chill, chill yeah. factor of like minus 80. Yeah. yeah but but he, even today he goes, it's fucking warm outside. I go, no, no, no. It's warm for December. It's still yeah. cold. Yeah. I, I think I, I think I've rebuilt my resistance to, uh, to the cold a little bit. Because when, yeah. I, when I used to work like... Um, in car sales and car rentals and all that stuff, uh, a lot of times if I was rushing, I wouldn't even put on a jacket. Yeah. So I was just in a dress shirt moving cars around, and it's windy, and I was fucking taking snow off cars and shit, <laughs> you know? So I had built a resistance to yeah. the cold, so I guess it came back. I think the North did that to me, too, because this morning my uh, 
the 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 um, the plastic tarp on my uh, barbecue was off, so I went out, put it on, and just in a t-shirt, and I was fine. So then when I left to come here, I was like, I'm not gonna put a winter jacket on. I'll just put my jean jacket. I got in my car and then I was like, "What the fuck am I thinking?" <laughs> fucking freezing. <laughs> then I went back on my got my winter jacket. Yeah. It's cold as fuck. It's still cold. It's still yeah. cold. Yeah. Still yeah. cold. Still cold. <laughs> God damn, it's like it's fucking cold as fuck, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but I built my resistance again. I feel good. Fuck that's good. bullshit. I mean, but at least everybody got to see the way you eat on the trip. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was an intervention. Yeah, Free every Mike, meal everyone. is. I I almost. Never eat any sugar. Oh, is that syrup? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, sir, you're not supposed to put syrup on lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Every meal was yeah. wacky. And everything was delicious. I yeah. didn't realize how, like, I knew you liked food, but everything you put in your mouth was followed with a, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. And we, like, a couple of the restaurants we went to were good, but we went to some fucking shitholes, yeah. too. And the, the ooh was in a, a good restaurant or a shithole. Yeah. yeah. I love food, bro. Yeah, it was all the same. <laughs> yeah. But the, the, the worst meal was, um, I'm not going to say which one, but the, the hotel. The worst meal? Yep. Yeah. The beef tartare. Oh, really? That was your worst meal? Yeah, the first beef tartare was phenomenal. It was a great restaurant, yeah. That was, oh, my God. But uh, the, the second beef tartare I had was at that hotel. Towards the end, yeah. uh, it looked like all they did was they took hashed meat and put it together, and then uh, minced meat, and then minced meat. Sorry, and then put some sauce over it. So it was just I was eating basically raw meat without because beef tartare. There's like multiple uh, processes, like they, they add spices and shit like that. It is though just raw meat. Yeah, no, with, no, I with I, oils I, and spices. I, I understand, but this one didn't even have the oils and spices. Yeah. It was just. It, yeah, it was just... What kind of oil and spices was you looking for, kid? Her, uh, the, the, just the herbs and spices, bro. So listen, Herbie Spicy, <laughs> before we forget, Mike made made it on another list. Yeah. This list is, I guess, for Quebec's most important influential personalities of the year. Yeah, our, I think it's artistic personalities of the year. They have these lists every year. And every year, I always go, "What the? What a stupid list! What a!" And then I started reading it. I was like, "This is just hey, that's me." <laughs> and then I was like, "That's important." <laughs> yeah, so it's a sondage. So it's you léger, voted. Léger calls Wait, go up, people go up. up. I want to see who's second. Is it? Oh, Charlotte uh, Cardin. Yeah, Charlotte Cardin beat me. I like her, and I want her to do my podcast, but I can't get through to to, to anyone. No Tell one replies to me. You have a friend on the list. Yeah, Denis Villeneuve is there. Denis Villeneuve. That's some uh, TV host. Who's she? Ah, uh, she's a lady that hosts a TV show. She's cute. Yeah, Arnaud Soli. Oh, I know Arnaud Soli, okay. Comic. A lot of people are... Jay Zutov, are... that's the homie Jay. Yeah. I like him. And then <gasps> me. It's my... Wait, you think I could reach out to number two and tell her, look, I know number seven. I had yeah. six and seven on my show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had six and seven yeah, on my true. show. You had six and seven. I had six, seven, nine. Didn't you have nine? Yeah, yeah I had nine. Yeah. 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 I like uh, 12, I think. Uh, who else we got? Fred Pellerin is the guy I was telling you about that he sells a lot of tickets when we go in little towns. Oh, I got to like talk to he's, him. Uh, he's a storyteller guy. Ooh, who's number 25? Guillaume Le Métivers. He's only there because he was... Uh, uh, he, he got in trouble this year because he didn't want to get... He wanted to get a vaccine uh, that was made in Quebec. Yeah, he which came out now. Yeah, which and came out now. And, and it's, it's the not worst effective. thing ever. <laughs> Apparently rubbing like a, a pine tree on your dick is, will, is better. Nah. Yeah, yeah. if you take the Quebec one, you might get sick. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so but it, that, that's a weird list because, uh, yeah. I, but They're all on for very different reasons. Most of the people are just on there because they were active during COVID. And I think that's the only reason why I was on there. It's just because of the podcast. Well, Denis Villeneuve had uh, Dune that came out. Yeah. And Charlotte Cardin exploded. Yeah. Exploded. So much so that they won't return my emails. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you have? You brought news for us today. Yes, I have brought a few uh, of the news. <laughs> a few of the news. <laughs> Education. Uh, he related. List. Close. Okay. Oh, Okay, so, I didn't expect that. Uh, the first one is uh, Santa gets arrested in Germany. 
Oh yeah, it's true. Because he he showed me an actual murder, but he's not gonna show it on two drink. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Gonna, that's too depressing. Oh, there's depressed a after Santa that. Claus that murdered. No, someone? no, I saw a Chinese guy murder a black guy. Oh shit! Yeah, Just shoot him in the head. Yeah, he was trying to rob the restaurant, and uh, basically the the Chinese, the Chinese owner, guy was having none of it. Yeah, he pulled out a gun and shot From him in the face. Pants, though, so he was working all day with with a handgun in his pants. The Chinese guy had a gun. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, very, very. You figure like you work in a restaurant. The cash cash register is there. Hide the gun under. under. The, uh, yeah, yeah, in his pants. Yeah. And then the guy's reaching over the counter trying to get the money, and the trans guy's like, "Yeah, motherfucker!" He pulls out the gun and right point blank in his head shoots him. That was in a in the states, I guess. Yeah, okay. yeah, I figured yeah. that doesn't feel German. Doesn't feel Chinese. No, either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doesn't feel Chinese at all. Well, no, the German thing is that uh, black people in China probably get shot a lot. The, are so? they very racist? But well, they China? don't have any. They don't have any black people really. And the black people, they do. They. I told you the story when I was in China. I asked a. I asked the Chinese guy. I was like, "You guys don't have black people?" And he goes, "Yeah, we have black people. I'll take you to the black place." Oh, nice! And then he brought me to this club. It was all black people. Okay. And I and then when I walked in, I was the first white guy to ever be in that club. I think the owner gave me. Uh, he he gave me like a poker chip. He was like, "This is you. Show this to anyone." Uh, you can get whatever you want for free. No one will fuck with you. And then I, I was like, I was like, what? I was like, who's, what? What is this club? I was like, that, what is this club? And then he was like, it's all Nigerian drug dealers. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus I was in Christ. a Nigerian drug dealer club, showing my poker chip and yeah. having them be afraid. Yeah, of every me. time somebody came yeah. up to you, like, what do you do? Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. What did this German do? Oh shit. So uh, they've uh, Santa Claus arrested Germany for not wearing a mask. Is is he supposed to? Isn't the beard technically a mask? Though? I don't know. Yeah, I guess droplets don't get through or whatever. He got off on the whole banging kids thing, but the mask. Yeah. Can I so not feststellen? Oh, my force! He's running. Like, why don't they just give him a fine? They're yelling Zig Heil. <laughs> Did you hear that? I guess they're making fun of them. They're calling him Nazis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe they weren't yelling that. Maybe they were yelling something. Yeah. Else. Whatever they yell always sounds like Zig Heil. Super like aggressive. Die. God damn, that's a lot. That's got to be traumatizing for a little kid. Yeah. I mean, that's what happened last time. First they came for Santa, then they went for the Jews. So we got to be careful. That's <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. And you figure if there's one job you don't want wearing a mask, it's Santa Claus. Yeah. Right? Because it's Weird. for little kids. You want, you don't want the little kid to see Santa with a mask. No. And it would be so easy to put the mask underneath if, if he does have to wear a mask. And just like leave his nose mask. out. Leave his nose out so he can yeah, breathe. Yeah. 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 But then you can't move wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can. It's yeah. already German. Heaven yeah. govern schlag in Christmas. Like, it's already... <laughs> It's already, it's already very aggressive. How many Jews do you want me to kill for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that, Santa. <laughs> Too late. It's already done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. God, damn. God. Where was this guy? Because uh, he, like, I'd like, can you play it back? When they start pulling him away for why he looks like Weekend at Bernie 2. Do you remember the movie Weekend and Bernie, the I second remember. one I they redid? The uh, he, he goes to, I think it's Haiti, and then voodoo, uh, like a witch doctor. Um, makes him come back to life, so he's all he's walking. Funny. Oh, I remember the second. So one. he's walking like a like a zombie. Uh, yeah. What is this? Stralsund Mecklenburg. Stralsund Christmas Market. Uh, Western Pomerania, Germany. Western Pomerania. Pomerania. Mecklenburg. Yeah. yeah, that's it's near. A, uh, that's a, near a border collie, uh, New Zealand. Yeah, was that a uh, was that a how Christmas how uh, how by uh, Labrador, Switzerland? Look at him, the way he walks now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because they're oh, lifting him a bit. I, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're actually, you know what surprised me? That they're actually taking him in. Like, they take it that seriously. Yeah. So I mean, like, ah, oh, come on, bro, just whatever. They're, like, that's what I would do if I was in their shoes. Then they're like, no, nah, we got to. And how is that going to help? I never get, though, when people, when the cops are bringing you in and you're like, fuck it, I'm just going to lay down on the ground, make, make their life difficult. Yeah. I get that if you're wearing your own clothes, but this fucking guy is wearing a rental suit. Oh, he's so destroyed. so Aww. he's so he's gonna have a fine when he goes back to the Santa Claus store. He might own the suit. Yeah, he might own the suit. He yeah. might be Santa all day, every day. Yeah, he might be killing it. Speaking of Santa Claus, what, what the fuck was? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, nothing. It's weird. 
Yo, uh, what else you got for us? Uh, that was, I, that I, was I, depressing and went nowhere. Okay. Uh, there was a McDonald's fight. Between uh, Santa Claus again? It'd no, be no, no, amazing they, it if was, uh, all the news things had Santa, Santa, Santa. Santa. It was a lady. But uh, before we get to that, uh, this one's funnier. So we're going to go to that okay. one. It's fun. It's more... Uh, all right. It's more... We uh, trust you. Yeah. So uh, there, was a, there was a wedding. Oh, and nice. And they had a, they had a reception hall and shit. They and, all, okay. And... Um, and basically, uh, people online were angry at this lady because what happened she, was she she was a wedding crasher. No, no, no. She was the bride, and she got together with the bridesmaids, and they okay. uh, put together choreography for nice, the groom. Nice, let's watch it. And uh, people were angry. It looks very slutty. Like you can see some side boob there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see this. Is that the that's bride? not the bride. That's the bride. That's not yeah, the bride. that's. I sort of got that's a bride. Oh, she's putting the ass in class. Yeah. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Imagine it's your wedding, your mom's there. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, no. Yeah. That's kind of funny, though. Yeah. I mean, it's her wedding. She could do yeah. whatever she wants. Yeah, obviously. What is this? This is hilarious. You think this guy regrets getting married, or he? this makes it even better? Uh, it depends on the guy. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. Bro, that's the that's the bride. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh no. Okay. It's repeating. Yeah. God oh, oh, yeah, damn. Yeah. Poseidon, that's fucking hilarious. I'd be for real though, like uh I wouldn't want my wife yeah, wearing either. that. Oh of course you I wouldn't I'd either. Be like, hey, you I fuck. I think you put the wedding dress in the suitcase. <laughs> You're wearing the lingerie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, I'm not mad. It's none of my business. They can yeah, do whatever 100%. they want. Do I don't know why people are yeah. mad. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, it's are, none uh, of anyone's business. But it, like, I think most people would have reacted like uh, they would have wanted. To, okay. Listen, whore. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're not gonna fucking embarrass me in front of my friends and family. Are you crazy? But I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Maybe there's fucking there's there's nine year olds there and you're showing them your asshole like what is going on? They they gotta learn, bro. They gotta learn early. They don't have to learn early. <laughs> yeah. That's only in your household. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they, call me old fashioned, but nine year olds should learn about sex on the internet with their uncle. Exactly. <laughs> learn that in the basement, <laughs> not in front of everyone. Exactly how I learned. For real though, like if I was a little kid, let's say if I was eleven, I went to that wedding. I definitely would have gone to jerk off in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, God, uh, it would have been yeah. it would have been rough. Yeah, but I agree with you guys. It's none of my business. Just, yeah. just imagine cares? there's assholes being shown. There's little kids jerking off. What kind of wedding yeah. is this? Yeah. It's like what is the on best Epstein wedding ever? <laughs> it's on Epstein <laughs> Island. Yeah. It's like Epstein's wedding. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. What else you got for us? Oh, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. I like uh, leaving Poseidon to finding news because it's always a little yeah. retarded. La, la, la. Oh, so. Um, a ref was hospitalized after a wrestler violently stabs him in the uh, uh, with a spike after match. Hold on, bring up pictures. Wrestler like a uh, professional wrestling or like, like uh, Olympic, Olympic style wrestling. Professional or? like um, you know the fucking weirdos with the um, with the masks spikes and, and the stabbing yeah. the the, yeah, refs? the weird music and the outrageous outfits. Outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> outrageous. I like that that whore. The nothing outrageous about Wait. that. You thought it was fine. But seeing Randy Macho Man Savage <laughs> in his underwear <laughs> is outrageous. But isn't that, like, is this fake? Like, are you just telling us a wrestling storyline? Uh, no, no, no. This was not part of the storyline, I think. Hold on, hold on. I want to see what it says. Scroll up. Oh. I'm not about cancel culture, but promotions need to stop booking Hannibal, a.k.a. Bloodhunter. There's been numerous accusations of sexual harassment and several incidents of him legit injuring people. He's a reckless liability. That's all about himself and getting YouTube views. I'm pretty sure this is fake. Yeah. And they're making it look real. So he raped the ref? Close. Jesus Christ. Is that that's not the ref? That's the ref, yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah. It's a bit of a that, No, blood. that feels fake. Oh no, that's definitely Go up, go fake. up, go up, let's see the video. There's on Twitter. Go all the way up, 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 up. Bom, bom, there, bom. let's play play here. Yeah, let's see this. He's wearing a, lucha, a purple lucha mask. Yeah. He's screaming the ref. Hey, kind of looks like my mask. No, that's definitely fake. Yeah? Yeah. Is he that's, sucking the blood out of his head? Oh, that's he, fake because look how the ref is fighting. Yeah. He's tapping his his feet on the ground. I want you to get like, away. If that shit was real, he'd be like fucking like almost having a seizure. 
Yeah. He'd be doing everything. He'd be fucking clawing. Un- unless, they, unless, unless they told him, like, yeah, I'm just going to cut your head a bit. We're going to. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fake. That's uh, fake. I don't if know. If that Mike, was real, the it other looks ref. pretty real to me. The other ref would have come in and, and hit the guy. Like, that's, that's all fake. Looks real to me, Mike. It's still real to me, damn it. There's a guy with a cowboy hat. That's on. not even a real cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a fake cowboy. Is that yeah. Carlito? So that was it. That was it. Oh, wow. Dude, that's a so little. Apparently uh, got stabbed in the head. Well, apparently. Let's look back at the photo. Let's see if yeah. the photo's real. Hold on. Let's look at this guy. He looks too happy to have just gotten stabbed. He's, happy. Yeah. He's like, look what I happened to me. How was <laughs> your weekend? <laughs> I mean, it looks. This, I'm looking at it behind you. They stapled his head. It looks yeah. pretty real. No, uh, the the cuts look real, but yeah. yeah. So I, th- I think he cut him, but he, he didn't expect it to be that deep. Like or, I think, he, or maybe, or maybe he was in on the cuts. Like like those uh, extreme wrestling, they used to always do that. They'd put like they'd staple their backs or put yeah. thumb ta- uh, thumbtacks thumbtacks. on. Yeah, their, no, I their think head. it's real. Yeah, like they're oh. real staples. They're real staples. I think he cut him, but I think he probably didn't expect him to go that hard. Like he goes, "Don't worry, yeah. I know what I'm, I'm professional. I'm just gonna cut you a bit." I know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. It's like he wears a lucha mask. How's like his day at the office is he puts on a lucha mask and stabs people? Why would you let him fucking fuck your face up? I mean, look, it might be an improvement. Like I could see this guy's face, but <laughs> it's just fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, great promotion for that promotion. Yeah. yeah. What's a, promo- what's the wrestler's name? Um, go up. Hannibal. Oh yeah, Hannibal. Yeah, Hannibal. Hannibal Blood Hunter. Blood AKA Hunter. Blood Hunter. Because he did suck blood out of the guy's skull. You saw that part? Yeah. That yeah. part was a little weird. Yeah. But the sexual harassment. I like how we've become like a society that we're like, this fucking crazy guy stapling people's heads. And people are like, ah, it's okay. I don't care. But he called that woman sugar tits. Sugar tits. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you disgust me, blood hunter. <laughs> Put that fucking d- d- discarded penis down for a second. And listen to me. You can't go around grabbing asses. Sure, you can stab people. <laughs> you can stab dudes in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what uh, promotion is it? Like, what um, wrestling? Uh, I have no idea. Doesn't say it, huh? Nah. All right, it's a world-class inter- pro res- wrestling event in Irving, Texas. So uh, turns scary on Saturday. Yeah, so I won't say it. It just says uh, yeah. a world. I mean, oh. unless it's world class pro wrestling, maybe. But they do say he's a former WWE star. Not a star. Yeah, no, he's a former. He might have. Maybe he was like, I was on TV, row three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he might be a star. I don't yeah. watch wrestling. He might be. I don't think he is, though. That's a shitty way of coming back. Yeah, The Rock never did that. No. Yeah, that's true. And The Rock's a star. Yeah. The Rock is a star. Yeah. That's a that's like how porn stars are. Remember, like, uh, well, we've always called them porn stars. We never call them porn actors or actresses. Yeah. But most of them are porn actresses. Yeah. Like they're not stars. You're fuck. You're doing one movie. You got paid one hundred and seventy five dollars, <laughs> and a gift certificate, and you're a porn star. Now? <laughs> you're out there doing some porn, getting surprised that there's a penis yeah. involved. <laughs> 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 You're a porn method actor. Yeah. Is what you are. <laughs> is that a penis? Oh my! I didn't. I've never done this before. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Did we talk about that we on Two Drink about Venom? We never talked about that. No. I don't think we had an episode yet uh, about that. Yeah, because we can't say names. We got to keep it vague. Yeah. But someone that uh, we knew surprised us by being in a porno that no one knew about uh, with a dude. <laughs> yeah. In a non-heterosexual <laughs> porno. And then pretended he was... But wasn't. he was wearing sunglasses, so <laughs> he didn't think anyone would recognize him. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I made me laugh. You got a penis? What? <laughs> I was like, what the... That's terrible acting. Yeah. But it looked like he didn't want to be in that gay porno. Yeah. No, I think most... Uh, yeah. Fuck porn. Most heterosexuals don't want to be in gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way I see it. I want to know how that conversation. I wonder if he how they he, tricked him. Did he owe money to them? Or? <laughs> oh fuck, maybe. You but gotta the, pay off your debt. How? 
You gotta jerk that dude off. <laughs> the company though that did that porn too, like it's a legit company. So mm. it's not like if you're doing gay porn, you go, I owed money. <laughs> Why? I I, owed, I have a drug problem. But he, that's a legit drug, co- a legit porn company. So if he owes him money, it's just his credit card bounced <laughs> <laughs> on his membership the month before. Oh They're like, you owe us nineteen ninety five. <sighs> I don't oh. have it. All right, you know what you got to do. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> God damn! Hey, he got banged by a dude because he couldn't pay nine. Oh, he legit got he got banged too. What? To, I'm gonna describe the scene because you guys <laughs> sent it to me. Uh, he the he's with a man, but he doesn't. This is what's worse than doing gay porn if you're not gay. He touches a guy's dick, but you can tell he's disgusted. So if this is the dick, all he does is like. <laughs> like he just, he just rubs it. Like how a baby touches something that doesn't yeah, know it's, it's, yeah. He looks like a baby trying to pet a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a baby petting a cat. Yeah. That's worse than doing. Like if you're going to do gay porn, you <laughs> suck a dick. <laughs> like just fucking, you're ruining the gay porn for everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how this guy too, like uh, the like uh, great guys from Park X are the, <laughs> the most like uh, homophobic dudes. It's still around and you're doing gay porn that you filmed in Montreal. What the, the fuck is wrong with you? The funny the, the funny that is that uh my buddy goes, I go, How did you find this? And then it's like one of our friends found it like while uh looking at porn and then I'm like how hey, why, he was he, why was he? Why was he? Why Why was he looking at that? And then my other friends like, don't ask these questions, right? Just, <laughs> just be happy with the gem you found. Don't question it too hard. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm gonna and, question it. And the movie, the movie wasn't like it wasn't one scene, just him. He's in like a scene, <laughs> like a, in a 38 minute a video compilation. with yeah nine scenes, and yeah. he's in the middle. So to find that scene, it means you didn't come during the first scene. The first scene didn't. Do it for you. <laughs> you get you get why it's weird, right? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Oh, bro, that was some funny shit. Mm-hmm. I, I I I fell off the chair when I heard that. I, I was panicking, but he's, he's a good dude. I don't know how he got tricked into that. Yeah. Uh, but you guys are right. It's probably like a like a quick protocol, like or you know. Yeah. You know what I think it is though, for real, because this is a legit uh porn company. <laughs> they they contacted me to sponsor Suzy Good a okay. while back. Yeah. And uh, he probably went into audition. And uh, they were like, "Look, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta pay your dues. <laughs> you gotta. So before you can bang a chick, how are you with dicks? <laughs> oh, that, that must God. have been it. They, and then he was like, "No, I'm not. I'm not. And then they were like, "No one's gonna recognize you if you you have a hat. You wear a hat. Get some glasses. Who's gonna know?" <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! <laughs> Uh, what a what a fucking weird. Because he like I I I watched the scene, but like fast forward yeah. to see what it. And he never takes his hat or glasses off, right? No, it's in disguise the whole Which time. Which makes it not gay. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> Only gay if you take the hat and glasses off. You should have worn a mask, uh, uh, a lucha mask. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking a wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> staple that fag's head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna staple your head with my dick. Yeah, yeah something like that. Holy oh, fucking shit. shit. And uh, speaking of that, uh, Poseidon, when we got to, because uh, Fairmount, people that don't know, it's far north, yeah. and it's just people shouldn't live there. Yeah. So mining companies own the whole town because the town is, is a Indian giant wall. An Indian mining company. And from India. Yeah, yeah, uh, India. Yeah. Like yeah. not Indian native. Yeah, from India owns it, and it's a huge wall. And pe- in there, it's like a shopping mall. So the school's there, the theater's there, the, the grocery store's there, restaurants are there, and a strip club. Mm. Which Poseidon was super excited about seeing the North. I was not strips. that excited about it. And then he didn't get to see anything because th- there was a stripper scheduled to be there that night, and she crashed her car. Two two strippers were scheduled. One of them had an accident on the way, and then the other one canceled because she was like, "I'm going to be alone in a fucking mining town with men that haven't seen a woman in like years." I get her. Yeah, I understand mm-hmm. that logic. Yeah, because they hadn't had a stripper since COVID. So they hadn't had God a stripper damn. in two years. And then one of them got into an accident. And and girl got like a brand new truck. And the bartender was like, yeah, she didn't have insurance. 
And uh, it was only insured like uh, one way. One way. But generally, you do that if your car is worth like $800. Yeah, not sure. if it's a brand new car. She had yeah. a brand new car. She was like, I paid cash for this, so I better not insure it. Is she retarded? She is sense. retarded. Because she, she's like, and even the bartender, she was like, no, but she paid cash. Yeah, who cares? Insure it. Yeah, insure it. Yeah, because like the actually, insurance company doesn't ask to see your fucking. Like uh, your your Revenue Canada form, <laughs> they're like they they, yeah, they yeah. don't care. They just yeah. insure the product. And if anything, you, you, because you paid cash, that's more incentive to yeah. to you just get spent all your money in, already. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But if you're paying monthly, why do you have the impression that people aren't idiots? Because I'm an idiot myself, and I think everyone's smarter than me. You are right on yeah, that. Yeah, you are right on that. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, here's the thing. Because you're expecting people to have an IQ of 130 because it's higher than yours. But an IQ of 70 is still higher than yours. Yeah. That's what you're misunderstanding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite place that we visited? And Why? Oh, well, he's great at podcasting. Yeah. I would say The Wall. The Wall was your favorite spot? Yeah. How come? It was um, it was kind of like out of this world. It's like, It feels like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of like experience. You get to see I this. I knew that anyone I found can't really get away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, don't. Hey. <laughs> the Wall was weird. Yeah. Oh, okay. by the way, I got to see them though, The Wall, you dumb bitch. So, um, Poseidon call, so we get to the, the Wall Hotel first. And Poseidon calls me panicking. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was the best. Yeah, there's no, there's no power. There's no. I go. The lights no won't come on. The lights won't come on. So I was like, well, they're not automatic. You have to just flip the light switch. What? What are you talking about? There's no power. I go. Okay, so look at the wall, right? He's like, yeah. I go. Do you see a switch? He's like, no. I go. There should be a switch on the wall. No, there's no switch. I go. There's a switch, and you just pull it up. It's down. And you just push it up. No, there's no. So he freaks out. So then we go down. I think. And uh, he panics. He goes, tells the lady. She's looking at him. He's like, so in my apartment, in my room, there's no power. She's like, what do you mean there's no power? The lights won't come off. And she's like, have you tried turning the light switch on? And he's like, why does everybody keep saying that? There's no switch or I've tried. Nothing works. So finally, we end up going to his room. Next to the door. Next to the door, there's a light switch. And he's like, yeah, the power, the, the lights won't turn on. I go, have you tried turning the light switch on? So we just, he flicks it up. The lights turn on. He's like, oh. I'm like, bro, have you never seen a fucking light switch? Okay. I don't understand. Okay, can I explain? Can I defend myself? <laughs> I don't know. Let's okay, try. Okay, hold on. In the so, village where my mom is from. <laughs> <laughs> the light, no switch, it's just a chain. <laughs> I pull on the chain. I, I okay. thought I was going to have to use my lighter. Um. <laughs> okay, let me defend myself. So that, that's Usually when you go in a place, the light <laughs> switch is on the wall. No, no. This is a wall. So I went outside, no switch. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, so that light switch was actually the, it's what gave electricity to everything for the plugs. Exactly, uh, that's what yeah. said. But I didn't know that. So what I did was when I walked in, I kept flicking it, you know, and then nothing would turn on. Flicking it like it was a clit? Yeah, I kept doing this. Did you lick it a little? <laughs> I'm going to lick this thing. Like, I'm, I'm actually I, I put power. both fingers around it. <laughs> Why isn't it turning on? I always have this issue. Yeah. <laughs> I can't turn anyone on. <laughs> These things never get turned on. <laughs> this is bullshit. She hasn't felt the, the, the hand of a man in so long, and still I can't turn this room on. This is maybe like my ex-girlfriend. I need to get, to get a short, fat lady to turn it on. <laughs> Okay, so I kept licking it, and uh, nothing would turn on. Licking right? it or flicking it? Flicking it. it okay. Flicking. Nothing would turn on. I was gonna say that's your first. So I'm like, what the fuck? The lights don't work. But the thing is, the lights in the bathroom worked, and the plug in the bathroom worked. The plug, like, I want to charge but my when phone. When you called, that's why I told you. I when you said they work in the bathroom, I said I know in the living room because I I had the identical room. Yeah. I said the one on the wall. Flick that up. It'll work. But you, how are you gonna know if the plug works or not? Because if when you flick it up, you don't plug something in. You know, you know what I understood. Okay, and then also because I tried plugging my stuff in in the like the living room area, whatever the fuck, nothing worked. Because you didn't flip the switch. I know, I know, but I didn't know that was the switch. But I told you it was. And the this switch. is the first time the in my life. This the is the switch. first time in my life where I walk into a place and I have to flip a switch to use power outlets. It's completely alien to me. I've never, I've never experienced that. In I, my life. I get it, but you asked me, and then I told you. Yeah. So I thought you meant it was kind of like a, you know, those metal things in the wall with uh, the switches. I thought it was a fuse box. I thought it was a fuse box. I'm like, where the fuck is the fuse box? So I'm running all over the room. 
I'm looking for a fuse box. box. I'm like, what the fuck, right? So I go downstairs, and the way she she made it sound, she goes, you have to flip the switch to turn on the electricity in that part of the room. Yeah. So she told me that. I'm like, oh, it's a fuse box because the fuse box is all sectioned off, right? But I had already spoken to you. I understand, but I thought it was a fuse box. So Me and the lady told you the exact same thing. Yes. And you still went in there. You're staring at the switch. You're like, Phew. I don't know where the fuck it could be. Because I, I thought that was just for the lights. I don't know it was for the power outlets as well. I was expecting to find a fuse, like a fuse box with flip this switch for the power outlets, this for the lights, this for that. In your defense, you never listen, so it's, this doesn't surprise me. <laughs> That's not a good defense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's that's what happened. It was uh, another funny thing that happens when we're give, getting driven up there. I was just asking questions about restaurants and what can I eat. And the lady's like, whoa. Even at the grocery store, you better be careful. If you want to get some, like, fruits or veggies or anything you have to grow, be prepared. It's going to be, like, $18 for some lettuce or whatever. So we go to the grocery store. <laughs> Same price. 99 cents organic bananas. I was like, yeah. All right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. everything was cheap. Yeah, I was like, are they charging these people more? Yeah. I think that you said it. It's because this lady moved from the city 20 years ago. Yeah. So she's comparing their prices to 1993 Montreal Probably. prices. Yeah, that's what I, I think yeah. that's exactly what happened. Yeah, That's 100% what happened. But the grocery store had everything. Yeah. They said there's going to be nothing there. They had everything. Yeah. yeah. They even had vegan stuff, which I was surprised. They had Because most, most people up there, like the, the when we were in Setsu, that woman told me, she was like, hey, we got a vegan meal for you, um, salmon, sa uh, salmon salad. Yeah, she goes, it's a lot of salad and a little bit of salmon. She goes, but you can move this uh, salmon over. <laughs> I love how that turned Why just not put the salmon in the first is, place? Is it's not vegan. a vegan meal. Yeah. Oh. Uh, That's like saying I got a vegan meal for you. It's a steak, like, oh. but you could, it, I mean, you don't have to eat the meat. <laughs> 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 Look, here's a bowl of cereal. You're lactose intolerant. Just grab the <laughs> grab the Cheerios and shake them off a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking problem solved. Yeah. The way she said it so nonchalant. Yeah. That's why I, I smirked as she said it. Like, like I couldn't yeah. contain oh, myself. God. I was like, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Jesus Christ. Like it's vegan. It's salmon. Mm. It swims upstream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't count. God damn. Yeah, but, um, and then I thought that I was, uh, I thought that I was fucked in the head because I, but I burnt my tongue, I guess, remember the cheese? I don't even know if that cheese was expired or not because I had him taste the, taste the cheese that tasted funny and he swallowed it. <laughs> Tastes fine to me. <laughs> but the way he was eating. Yeah. He could have. It probably w did go bad because when he tasted it, he just said, Tis, tastes fine. He didn't go, mmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> delicious cheese. Yeah, his usual self. Yeah. Mm. Well, okay, here's. I think I would have been able to tell if it was expired or not because I had. Uh, I fucked up, accidentally drank bad milk yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. How did you accidentally, accidentally. do that? Accidentally. Well, like Is I, that because you turned off the electricity in your house before you no, left? No, because the building, <laughs> the building, it's an old building, <laughs> and sometimes you it gets... you did turn everything off before you left. Yeah. Did you unplug the fridge? Because the no, fridge no. is very <laughs> energy hungry. No, 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 no. They're not going to get me again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what what but, happened to milk? I was So listen, I was steaming my milk, <laughs> as one does. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what happens... Uh, what happens is sometimes in that building, uh, there's power outages. And it could go out for hours. And if I'm not there, you know, I, well, even if I'm there, I can't do anything about it. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> if I'm not there, <laughs> no one's going to flip the switch. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, because when that happens, it, let's say it's like three, four hours, the, the milk I have. And then as soon as you pay your bill again, no, no. <laughs> they, they, they fix on. it. No, no, I've never had an issue uh, with that. It's the whole building that goes out. Okay. Interesting. And uh, no, I pay uh, I pay my hydro on time. We didn't say you didn't. And yeah. even if I didn't, they, it's illegal for them to cut the electricity in winter. Oh, I have a question about that. It's illegal yeah. for them to cut it. I always wondered this, but there's no one to answer. It's illegal for them to cut it in the winter. Yeah. But what if they cut it in the summer and just leave it cut for the winter? Yeah, that's probably legal. <laughs> and plus for people like him, that um, is it your heat that's included? Uh, no, the hot water. Okay, because... Uh, like a building that, that the heat is included, they can probably turn your power off, right? Mine? Yeah. No, but like if if your heat is included, because they, they just don't turn the power off because they don't want people to freeze to death. Yeah. But if you're, the heating is included in your rent, they could turn your lights off. But isn't the heating and the electricity the same thing? No. It's, well, different, it's, it's different switches. No, I, I get. But how is it powered? They're all they're they're all power, powered by hydro, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Of course, 
So if they cut you, you, you lose all that shit. No, but they, they can cut specific things. Yeah. Oh, really? It, yeah, like, of course. Like my you house, my old house used to be, or no, my new house is. Uh, I didn't know that. Propane. No, I thought like I, I like the way they're made. They have the fuse downstairs. They go, cut power. My, my house mm-hmm. where I am is propane that heats it. Oh. But I think technically hydro can't cut me off in the winter because they don't know. Oh, like yeah. I could, they don't. They don't talk to the propane. But company. what if they cut you off in the summer? Do they keep you cut through the winter, or do they have to put know. it back on? We in the should winter? try. I should try. Try not. Don't pay your bills. Yeah, that's that's just simple. Is, yeah. <laughs> do what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So what happened to the milk? The oh yeah, yeah, it was just it went bad, and like I. How pour- did you accidentally drink? Well, because like uh, the thing is, I didn't, I didn't. How is this going in my mouth? Like no, no. in milk, whenever like I've I've poured bad milk before, you hear it, so it yeah. goes like whoop. It sounds like that someone's ha- thrown up in your bowl. That happened to me once. I was like, "What the fuck?" And it was chunks. That I threw it out. This was a while ago. Okay. But this time there were no chunks. So I, what I did was I poured like in a. And you didn't in, smell in, it in a mug. No, I didn't. I just like oh, it, I checked the expired date. I checked it expired ma- March twenty second. Like wait, oh, it's still good. March twenty second. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. We're fucking why would December. <laughs> yeah, why would that be good? It's December. March twenty second of twenty twenty two. There's no way. There's ex- no milk that expires in in four months. That's what it said. But uh, that means it's last year. Because milk, when you buy milk, like milk is good. Like when, when it's even when it's pasteurized, it's good less than a month, right? <laughs> this is the greatest day ever. He's like, it said it expired March twenty second. We're December, so I figured I still got time. Yeah. No, it's a 2022, I think. No, no, no. no saw the 22nd. Yeah. I saw, actually, you know what? I well, still have. Two. That's been in your fridge for on. a year. No, no, I have. You probably saw no, no. two zero or maybe 12. <laughs> uh, you know what? I have the bottle at home. I'm going to take a picture of it. You still you have it? Oh, like, no. I, this guy's going to put it back in the fridge. <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, every no. couple of months, he's disgusting. No. I'm going to put it back in until it gets better. No, no. I poured it into the sink. And I just, it's in my garbage. I got to throw it out. But I didn't throw it out yet. So it's still something to check. <laughs> March 22nd. Yeah. So obviously it was still good. So <laughs> like I, I grew up on a farm and w- <laughs> milk that you don't, uh, you don't pasteurize is only good. I don't know. Not a, like a week maximum. Like I could believe even, ma- like I could believe them saying two months. I think But bro, beginning, he gets yeah. to the end of November, it's lasting till March. Bro, yeah. what, what kind of shit are you drinking? I think if it's pasteurized and the temperature is perfect. It may be two months, mm. maybe, and even then, I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> but March, we're <laughs> fucking March twenty second. We're December twelfth. That's three months and a week away. Like that's three months and yeah. ten days. That's a hundred days from now. Well, no, no, even more because because now we're December thirteenth. Uh, yeah. yeah. But he got it before before that. So I got it so end of November. End of November. So you right. got it like uh yeah that'd be a hundred and twenty days. <laughs> this is March like fuck perfect. <laughs> no, so what happened was <laughs> you should always smell. Like I never used to look at, like I'd look at the expiration date on milk, but I'd always smell it anyway. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Because like some things go bad, you can't tell, but milk is the easiest thing to know. It's gone bad. Well, I, the <laughs> second I, if it's November and my milk says it expires in March, I'm asking questions. <laughs> yeah. Well, so here's here's what happened. So I poured in a like a coffee mug. Was the year in like uh, Roman regular numerals. letters? Yeah, or <laughs> is it Roman numerals? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta I gotta check. I'm gonna take a There's picture. There's a of missing it. children's I'm, thing. <laughs> Elizabeth Smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you guys. <laughs> So what happened was I poured it in uh, my coffee mug because there's wh- John Benet Ramsey <laughs> on, the, on the thing. <laughs> so because uh, uh, as a kid I used to love. Um, I used to love pouring in a coffee mug, and then I would put like dad's cookies. And I would dad's crunch. cookies. Your, your, your dad's, dad's cookies? No, no, no. The the or brand. Any no, no. The brand. The brand. Okay. The brand dad's cookies, okay. like the oatmeal cookies. And I would just I would stomp them in there, and it, with the milk, and it was fucking delicious, right? So I did that. I, I don't poured, even know what dad's cookies are. Dad's cookies. It's the oatmeal, the yellow one. It's called yeah. dad's cookies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know those. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, the regular oatmeal. Yeah, yeah but they're called dads. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'd never n- noticed the brand. It's, it's the it's the give him PTSD when he's little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then I throw them in there, and then I start eating fucking cookies. Right, I went, this, this tastes weird. Did you go? These cookies are bad. You threw out the cookies. <laughs> no. So what I did was, so what I did was, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, are the cookies bad or is the milk bad? So then I I opened the cookies, I tasted a cookie, 
I go, oh, this tastes the way my dad's supposed to. Do. <laughs> this tastes good. And then I open so the milk. Then you grab a big uh, sip of milk. Well, well, I took a sip like a retard from the from the coffee mug. Couldn't you just go, deduce? Like yeah, there are two yeah. things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of these things is giving me cancer. Is it the cereal? Or is it the radioactive waste? Yeah. <laughs> I took the cereal. It was okay. I went, got a test. No cancer. Let me test the Let me radioactive test the other radioactive waste. Look, I was tired <laughs> yesterday, bro. <laughs> That's so amazing. You took, so you ate some expired milk and then you drank expired milk. And then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All in a day's work. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then uh, and then I, uh, I'm like, I think it's the milk. So I smelled it and it smelled like vinegar. I'm like that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. So that I, is not a good sign. So I poured it into the sink, and then I went. I, I was. You should so have poured it into your vinegar jug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was so angry because money. I'm gonna wash <laughs> the floor with this. <laughs> I was so angry because I wasted half a roll of dad's cookies. You had thrown in half a roll. Yeah. Half a roll is like this long. No, no, no. Like four cookies. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. So you weren't going like this, like dip, dip, eat. Nah, you got to dump them in there, bro. So you just, du- like as if it was cereal. Yeah. That's when I was a kid, it was even worse. It was like an actual bowl. I would throw in like 15 cookies. Okay, now, uh, sidebar. Yeah. We've talked about this. Because <laughs> we're talking about this because someone else. You're we- saying how, how you're eating uh, better now. Yeah, and and you how you want to lose weight. rarely eat carbs or, or sugar. <laughs> So a row of cookies, <laughs> is that? I thought, okay, you know, he had one. I didn't it's realize It's oatmeal. That. Oatmail. It's a fucking, it's like a plant. Yeah, yeah that's his logic. I'm eating broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had four. That's not a lot. But four, aren't they like this big? Yeah, no, no, no. These were the smaller ones. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, damn, Poseidon. Yeah, the bigger ones come in the two packs. Okay. I had the ones in the. And the had, dead ones come in the no, two no, packs. No, no, in the. Rest in, in the, peace, Doc. No. <laughs> No, I had the ones in the... Is, do you think that's why Tupac was called Tupac? Because of Dad's cookies? <laughs> <laughs> he, he too used to eat them the same way. Yeah. And then they shot him! Um, so, did you get sick? I had diarrhea all day today. Mm, good to know. So, same old, same old. Same, same yeah, same old. Same <laughs> yeah. old. <laughs> oh, shit. It was funny because during the trip, whenever he would have like stomach problems, I'd his because I guess he just says it because of reflex or anything. Yeah, my stomach's fucked up. I don't know why. And every time he would say it, I would have like a cartoon flashback of everything he ate that day. <laughs> and I'm like, I think we kind of know why. <laughs> and he did like our last show. The last thing he told us, like right before the show, he goes, don't use, don't use that bathroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we, I forgot we about figured, this. <laughs> I wanted to kill him. I, I figured that like if someone tells you and he goes, I wrecked that toilet. <laughs> I thought that just meant he shat. It smells bad. So I won't use it for another hour. And then after the show, you go, there's shit in the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> yeah, there's so shit there's everywhere. There's shit in so, the toilet. Yeah, so I walked in and I was shocked. And that's why I go, bro, when you said don't go in there, oh, it's a mess. I didn't realize you literally made a, you shat everywhere. You're like a homeless person. He's like, no, And no. there was a plunger. Yeah, there was a plunger. Okay, I didn't but, know there was a plunger. But here's the best part is that he he made a mess. And instead of being like, look, guys, there's an accident or, you know, I'm a child. Yeah. Uh, I can't, I don't know. I, I, I'm retarded. He could have said anything to avoid it. He said, who nobody wants to go in there. I had a real mess. It'll take a while. He legitimately destroyed the bat. He shot it. Yeah. It's the kind of stuff I used to see when I used to work uh, at Harvey's. Okay, when, no, hold, like hold when on, hold on. And, and you told us. All the said, shit was in the toilet bowl, yeah, my friends. But you said, I didn't tell you yeah. guys because I didn't think you were going to use that bathroom. Yeah. So you thought we were all going to leave and then the fucking poor <laughs> janitor at that <laughs> theater well, no, was well, going to go, why I didn't, is I didn't, Mike Ward <laughs> shitting on the seat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, there was no there was no shit on the seat. There was, though. No, no, there wasn't. That was all on the toilet bowl. Don't fucking spread <laughs> propaganda over here, okay? <laughs> no, no, don't spread shit everywhere. Else. <laughs> but you can't just leave. Like, you can't just leave shit in the toilet bowl like it's a Tim Hortons <laughs> that you're never going to go back to. You, like, <clears throat> people know us. People know. But also, I didn't think that you guys were going to go back in there either because of what I said, but also because it was the woman's bathroom. Yeah, but that means some poor lady yeah. is gonna see that. In I a just week. realized that also Plus, didn't make it better. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a theater, so it's not like there are people there every day. So after the show, they close up, and then tomorrow, the day after, the janitor comes in 
And he's like, God damn. And plus, it's a ladies' bathroom. Is so that milk like, expired? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but but in all seriousness, though? But because they always blame whoever's face yeah. is on the post. And I that fucking vegan took a that huge vegan look shit. Look at that vegan shit. <laughs> God damn. Look what salmon does look, look, to your turds. Look, what happened was. <laughs> There's pieces of chicken bones in there. What is this guy eating? God damn <laughs> vegans in their chicken and salmon. <laughs> look, what happened was most of it went down, but it was a, that little bit of poop. That it was not a little bit. It was not a little bit. First of all, you know how I knew there was a problem? Because I walked in and the, the whiff, like it, was, it, it hit you in the face. You could smell the shit. Like yeah. I took a shit in the bathroom that was not the same, like the men's bathroom. Because yeah. I, like, I don't bathroom. go to the ladies' bathroom. So I go to the men's bathroom. It stunk in there. So I Do you thought, know how bad you have to stink? But Because I went in a long time after him because I thought, okay, by now it cleared out. So the st- it hit me. I opened the door. <sighs> Wow, that must have been because it stayed for so long. Go, she's yeah. crazy. He wasn't kidding. This must have been even worse, people. <laughs> and then I walk on the stall. I almost threw up the shit everywhere. I go, this motherfucker. I walk out and I, t- I tell my guy, I go, this motherfucker. He just shit everywhere and didn't flush. He just left. And then he lied. He's like, guys, you don't go in there. I took a really big shit. Well, he he wasn't. I mean, he was honest. He yeah. did take a really big shit. She said he didn't flush it. That's what yeah. he should have said. I refuse to flush or whatever the fuck. No, it was no. Crazy. <laughs> And the smell, man. Ugh. No, no, no. It's like animals died in there. It was very bad. It was very bad. No, no. What happened was I flushed and most of it went down. Did not. Bro, it was full most of shit. Of it but the down. thing. None of it went None down. of it went. It was full but of shit. But the thing is, it got clogged because of the toilet paper. If most of it went down, we would not be hit <laughs> with that whiff. Bro, when I opened that door, it, it was like a horse trough. It was. Awful, bro. It's like a rat dying in your And you're asshole. blaming the toilet paper. You're the one that used too much toilet paper. Yes. So, <laughs> so I love that you're blaming your own mistake. But the thing is, it wasn't that bad. It was rough. Because the smell must have been bad. I understand that. But the thing is, because so I, I grabbed the plunger after and it went down super easily. I just did a few. Well, yeah, because it spent an hour floating and discombobulating, <laughs> bro, in the water. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I think for real, disgusting. Oh, that God smell, damn. Roof. I thought about it, in my, and I got PTSD. Yeah. It was horrible. I think that's the only reason why that woman peed in front of you. Yeah, <laughs> she knew it was she revenge. Knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. You got it. Was that night that it happened? Yeah, you got, game recognizes <laughs> game. You got revenged. <laughs> Yeah, she you, she she was like trying to wreck my bathroom. I'm gonna wreck your balcony yeah. <laughs> or entrance or wherever the fuck she it was. was, it, was she no, it was rough. But that whole uh, uh, we had one I'm morning. Sorry about that. I don't know if you remember the morning. Do you remember when he was pissed? It was a morning. It was the day we were going to um, we were going to perform. I think uh, the day we were leaving for Setsil. He was in the worst of moods. All more. <laughs> Grumpy. Did you book this? Did you book that? <laughs> He's just super, super angry. I talked about it yesterday. He's like, I was, I don't know why I was mad, bro. I was just, I was hungry. In the morning, it was early. He was really pissed. You I didn't have coffee yet. You remember that day when he was really pissed? Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't pissed. You were I was, pissed? I was annoyed. But it was kind of our was fault. Was that too. when we went to those people's, uh, that yeah. people's house? I want to thank them. Uh, they, they don't speak English, but the, we had a couple in Bikamo that, uh, the dude fixed our muffler. He uh, reattached my bumper. Uh, f- free of charge. Mm. Free of charge, yeah. Yeah. And Poseidon hated every moment of it. He was in a bad mood that Fucking day. Fucking hated that guy. But we also made Poseidon's trip harder than we had to. Because he, he had tasks that he had to do as tour uh, manager, whatever the fuck. Uh, and half the shit we would tell him wasn't even real. So he had to mix the real duties that we were expecting from him yeah. to the extra fucked up shit, and all together, and he didn't know what was real or not. So Figure sometimes, out what's true? And sometimes what he would fuck up the real stuff and do the shit stuff, so we'd get mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, but some of the stuff was funny. Like I remember in Big Homo when he went on stage to put the stool. I'm still laughing at his face about what he did because he's supposed yeah. to be discreet. So <laughs> you could. Describe what did I do? It. Yeah, because uh, the the there wasn't a stool on stage, so a stool has to be on stage. So, and the lights, generally, like, uh, the person will bring it out in the dark. He was kind of lit. He was very so lit. So, he brought it on, on the stage and looked at us, and he went. <laughs> 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 that was the best. And everybody's looking. What is he doing? Is and it? then he came back, and there was a thing hanging underneath the stool, like yeah. a thing of paper. Oh, I didn't About that. this long. I took like, it out after yeah. so when Mike goes, it was okay, clear. Okay. Yeah, in the dark, he he took it off. I'm a sneaky, sneaky man. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then at the end of the trip, I pulled a fucking wipeout. Oh, yeah, he landed face first. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, that was that was rough. That, that was, was the, one, but to be honest, it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was I, we were on the bus. I was dying of laughter. You were like a yeah. woman though. Zero attempt yeah, to yeah, stay yeah. up. Zero attempt to stay up. He just he doesn't know how to fall. No, I no, no. But that it, was but that I was bro. It. That was <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> I did. That was that was like I teleported to the ground, my friend. Yeah. And the that best was like is, it was like Peter Griffin because his first reaction he had his face to the ground and he's turning around. He's like. Oh, like that was the noise he was making. He was like, oh. And instead of me being like, shit, is he alive? The first thing I said was, you can't sleep there. <laughs> you can't sleep there. <laughs> and then I checked up on Yeah, him. yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. No, because what happened was, bro, the weirdest fucking shit, right? So I sparked a cigarette and then I realized. Oh, oh by the way, this is at a gas station. I just realized he was next to the pumps yeah, he's and he sparked the pump. cigarette. He was actually, I saw the video. <laughs> he was leaning on the propane yeah, tanks. Yeah, yeah. He was leaning on the propane Oh, yeah, it's so well. <laughs> He <laughs> fell on the propane tanks. He almost killed yeah. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dumbass. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. No, so what happened was I realized I was too close to the pumps, right? So I'm like, ah, I'm too close to the pumps. This is no Put good. Pump. I got I to gotta go a bit further, right? So I, I, I wanted to turn the corner at the building and go behind the building, right? Where there Did was no pumps. Did you measure? You're like, okay, I'm six foot three. If I fall face forward, that means I'll be six feet away from the tanks. Safe. I'm safe. <laughs> Safety first, guys. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> and he just drops. God damn. So what happens? I'm like, oh, fuck, no, I can't smoke here. This is uh, no good. So I go to move forward. And the thing is, here's the weird thing. It was on the sidewalk of the place, right? And uh, there was a lot of ice past the sidewalk. Now, where the sidewalk ended, there was also a lot of ice, but that ice was invisible. Invisible ice. Completely invisible. invisible. Yeah. So what the thing <laughs> is... Completely invisible Sneaky except ice. for the fact that it was shiny. Yeah. So the thing is... Sneaky, shiny ice. Uh, black ice, bro. Sheeny you got to watch out for it. Sneaky, shiny, <laughs> thick ice. <Yeah. laughs> thick, thick ice. <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> Very, Very sneaky. <laughs> Very sneaky ice where all the rest of the ice it's that I was on. Invisible, but uh, like four inches higher thicker. than the rest. Yeah. yeah. Like a step, a sneaky step. It was very <laughs> visible. So what happened was I'm being careful for the ice that I can see, not knowing there was also ice that right before see. that yeah. that I can't see. So I go to I go to I'm like ah, I gotta so be you careful. Jumped. So I go <laughs> <laughs> like Wario. So I go I, I go ah I gotta be careful and I take one step. And like I, w I teleport to the ground. I was like, yeah, it, "What the fuck just, just happened?" This, doom. Yeah, just straight up down. It was. Very Did you hit your head? No, but my whole body's sore. Yeah, I I, I thought you hit. And your my face. knees fucked up. I he thought was, I hit my face too. It was very Peter Griffin. It was. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> he was making that noise when he was on the floor. <laughs> he was almost turned on by it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I remember. Remember, preach what happened to him when he went to one of the gas stations. Oh yeah, Holy Jesus shit. Christ! Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah, there's not a lot of black guys up there. No. Yeah. Yeah. A lady told him she was like, "Hey, uh, twenty dollars gas," and he goes, "No, it's eighty. And she goes, "Oh, it must be that other." And she called him the N word. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. yeah. God damn. And then he came out. I was like, "Yo, you want us to go back in there?" He's like, "Nah, what the fuck? It. It's just the way people are around here." I go, "Jesus Christ!" Yeah. 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 But not just around there. Like, remember that time he got that look from the lady at the, the yeah. other gas station? Not oh, a lot yeah, of black yeah, people yeah, yeah. in small towns. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was following you guys with my car, so I yeah. parked also, you know? Uh, I think I was to put gas as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a uh, fucking lady comes out, bro, and fucking walks over aggressively to him with her clipboard and just started fucking... Yeah, she that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Yeah, because she overdid it. Yeah, because <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, "What is she a rooster, bro? What the fuck are you?" Doing? <laughs> she came in like this, like that. It was a brave rooster rest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah was, fucking That's when you can tell there's a lot of racism. Like <laughs> it, we always have black people tell us. The, a lot of white people are racist. We're like, nah, it's not, that's not, what the fuck are you talking about? It's yeah. not that bad until you go in small towns. And a gas yeah. station, I confuse you with dude, the other end. And then you're like, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But he's a good sport. But yeah. uh, uh, Poseidon did uh, defend them, though, because he said these two N words look nothing <laughs> alike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a <laughs> that N word isn't even funny. He's a big N word. That's a little fucking. <laughs> He's a little F word N word. <laughs> yeah. And the preacher's like, You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> you're bro, I don't know what you think you're doing, but you ain't yeah. helping. Like, no, 
No, you cool. You cool. All right. All and right. then he got in the other black guy's car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the bus got smaller. Yeah. <laughs> it shrunk. But that bus is going to need some serious repairs. Yeah, yeah, it's in it's at the garage now. I wonder if the guy's going to freak out. What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> I think well, the- though it's cuz we like it that that we were, went really far. And those like since it's it's uh it's not like an actual tour bus. It's like a motorhome. So it's those, a, yeah, it's a modified RV. Those things are supposed to run in the summertime. They're not supposed yeah. to be. Go- and I think we probably hit so- like a tire or something on the road that knocked the propane uh, thing and the muffler off. <laughs> well, it was a it was a very treacherous road. It was a treacherous yeah. road. It was a crazy trip, but also um, the first flight we took. To go into, I guess, was it New Brunswick, Newfoundland? Newfoundland. Went Newfoundland. to yeah, Newfoundland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we're, we go to the airport. Everyone's telling me you can't bring uh, liquids, all that. So all my shampoo, my shampoo, and all that stuff, I had to leave it because we're, we're not putting it under. There's yeah. no under. You guys told me, so I left it in the tour bus, which, by the way, turned to a rock. But when we got to the airport, bro, that was like the airport didn't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, they yeah. didn't even check our bags. They didn't even check our bags. So then I'm like, oh fuck, you know, yeah. I forgot about the like, god damn it, I, I could have brought my shit. Yeah. Anyways, I so could have brought get, my knife. Yeah, he could have brought your knife. Yeah. Well, he did bring it the other day. So so he's like, he's all pissed off. He's like, fuck, I could have brought my knife on the plane. I didn't bring my knife. He was very angry about not being able to bring his knife. And uh, when even when they screened me in the last place, remember when they made me take my pants off? That was fucking annoying, bro. They overdid it. Made you t- yeah, you didn't see that? I had to take my belt off, open my pants. I had to take my boots off. Jesus. The last. That was the, a little. Uh, in uh, Newfoundland. They checked I, I didn't know the dick and the balls. He checked <laughs> all my stuff for bomb juice. Mm. Oh really? Here's the fucking crazy part. They made me take my shoes off. They made me take my my belt off. They they made me run, walk through. They bomb juiced my bag, bro. You know what I had in my bag? I found on the plane, a bottle of water, that I wasn't allowed to take on. No, they yeah, didn't they, check the. It was they in didn't the X-ray machine. It was water. It was in the X-ray machine. They didn't notice it was water, yeah. bro. They're letting bombs throw all the time. So Poseidon was very angry. They didn't have his knife. So then when we got back to Bakomo, he had his knife. So that night, remember we went to the first bar. And there was all the people coming around us, yeah. those girls that kept saying, you're too loud, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So Poseidon, at one point, I, l- I lean over, and he had pulled out his knife, and he's like this, you want me to tell her to stop? <laughs> <laughs> and I look over, I go, bro, put your fucking knife away, bro. <laughs> put your fucking knife away, bro. <laughs> yeah. So you want me to tell her to stop? He fucking pulled out a switchblade. Yeah. <laughs> <Like, yeah. laughs> it's crazy with that knife. <laughs> yeah, and we were in a bar that uh, everyone came up to me to say, we couldn't go to your show. And then I was like, why? Because they check uh, for uh, vaccines. They check the passport. And I was like, don't they check for passports in bars too? And then the the guy said, just leave. (laughs) (laughs) Because when we went in, I realized that we, like they weren't checking for passports, but we're just so fucking used to being in Montreal that I, I showed my thing to the guy. I don't even think he had a reader. I think he just tapped like a calculator yeah. to my phone and said, okay, like, you're it, good. It's legit. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh, and then what happened is you guys is left. Yeah, we went to, back to the hotel, and then we yeah. got into a whole thing with the band there, and we yeah, sang yeah, karaoke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. but while you guys were gone, the uh, the second cab didn't come, and we uh, Preach and I almost got into a scrap. With oh, each yeah. other? No, 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 with uh, some uh Preach got mad. Like, what did you call me at that gas station? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a, a racial thing? Uh, no, no, no. So what happened was, uh, uh, since uh, Preach and I were stuck there, we're like, fuck, we're going to have some drinks. So we started having drinks, and then uh, we started, uh, there was a, that punching bag thing. Okay. Yeah, so we started punching that, and the bouncer came and participated, and Preach befriended the bouncer. And, uh, he <laughs> Preach was cool, befriended the bouncer. Yeah. We both have punching in common. Yeah. And, uh, we are now brothers in arms. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and so we started punching that. It was a good time. People were laughing. This that, and then uh, some uh, belligerent drunk man started uh, causing a problem with uh, the employees there. He tried to fight the bouncer. This that afterwards causing a ruckus. Yeah, causing a ruckus, as they say. So some then, uh, drunk so then, and buffoon. So because we befriended the bouncer, we came to the bouncer's aid. Although he didn't need our, our aid, you know, the man. <laughs> the man was five foot two. And uh, we would have. Uh, oh, the guy fighting the guy. The guy that won. Yeah, 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 yeah. he was two. five foot two. And your dad just showed up at he, the club. Yeah. <laughs> he hey was guy, sh- shorter than my dad. See, you want to see my nunsucks? <laughs> shorter than my dad, bro. Karate guy. <laughs> but this guy was tiny and he was trying to start shit and his friend, anyways. So it was a whole adventure. Like bro. The, the bouncer at the strip club in Fairmont. He was like 5'1 and about 100. Oh, yeah, old. it's true. Yeah, and he was, he was, he looked like a guy that should be retired. Yeah. Yeah, that was an he's old like dude. A, uh, well, he's been a, a bouncer there for six, uh, for 35 years. 
They were saying, or 30 yeah. years. He started bouncing that when he was 60. Yeah. And when you age, you shrink. He used to be six seven. <laughs> he was so small. It was the funniest thing when oh, I first saw him. He's a tiny man. And these are minors. Yeah, these are all dudes that work with the... They have every finger looks like a, a bottle. Like, yeah. they have big-ass hands. They can, they can kill him with yeah. their bare hands. Yeah. I don't know what... Yeah. Maybe he's got a knife. <laughs> but that's a testament to how, I guess, civilized they are up there because... You'd think there'd be more rapes and well, murders. everyone knows everyone, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you if you fuck up the you're the, out. the bouncer, you're out, and no one owns a house there. It's all the the mine the mining company that owns everything. They're on the wall, so they're just gonna come break in, beat the shit out of yeah, you, yeah. possibly rape you. Well, I hope but yeah, that night when you guys showed up, we were at the hotel. And we were getting drunk at that corporate party. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever seen... Uh, well, I've seen him drunk before. But uh, I'm not used to seeing Preach drunk. He got there and oh, he yeah? was fucking shit Yeah, when you guys showed up, Preach yeah, we, was we, we, we were Yeah, we were yeah. pounding the back. They kept bringing yeah. us shots. We had a few drinks, so... Yeah. Yeah. But I had his back. Don't worry about it. Well, we won't you worry. had his back? Like, like I was uh, I was looking out for the for the. I homie. was waiting for him to get a couple more drinks no, in no. him and then... <laughs> Not that, not not that kind his, of back, bro. I was going to his room to get that back. Yeah. My neck, my back. I licked preachers crack. Is that what you trying to tell us, bro? Preach can beat the shit out of you. Bro. <laughs> tell him people you had sex with. No, no, but, no, it's a fucking don't joke, bro. Shit, Calm bro. down, don't bro. Don't do that shit. You guys fucking talk shit about me all the time, bro. Calm down, bro. But don't talk shit about preach, bro. About bro. banging preach. I didn't say I banged preach. You said you wanted to bang. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You you insinuated. You, said you, were looking you insinuated, at you bastard guy, bitch. <laughs> And you then I played God along. Is, you said God is back because of the term bareback. No, yeah. no, because because he he got you know he drank. I, I think you said you guys are dating. He because he told me he didn't drink that much, but he went to the bathroom and you were watching his drink, and then the <laughs> other drink right after he said I got all dizzy, <laughs> and then I had uh, put signs saying I got your back, bro. I got your back. I got your sweet sweet back. Yeah, <laughs> we're both sleeping in the same bed tonight, baby. <laughs> Why? I got your back, bro. I got your back. Got to make sure nobody breaks in here. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was, uh, you know. Yeah, we we and him went to crash a corporate party. Yeah. Which was, was already fun. crashed. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. We showed up later after. We befriended a band. Yeah. We sang. Mike sang very well. I yeah. uh, I attempted to sing. I, I also attempted to sing very I terribly. Had, oh, by the way, I checked the videos. You don't have me singing Eminem. No, I have the other song. Yeah, I have you, you, but you were literally with me with the camera. I saw it, but I guess you were recording because none of that is on there. I have you on you there. You were just dancing with. Yeah. Him. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I have. That's yeah. how drunk it was. He 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 thought he was recording it, but he, he hadn't clicked on record. Fuck. Yeah, there was a lot missing. Uh, like I noticed yesterday. A lot. Yeah, there was. I was like, hmm, like there was a lot that you just didn't record that you didn't. Uh, Such as. Well, it's not there. Well, no, I got a lot of footage. You got a lot of footage, but most of it is nonsense. No, most, most of it is, of it is just a, a lady peeing <laughs> I should have gotten of a hotel. Oh, fuck, I should have brought the fucking camera. But I have yeah. you singing Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. So that I'm going to put in the video. Oh, God, oh, yeah. that's going to be, that that's terrible. good, too, right? No? Did it sound good? We were hammered. Yeah. Cause I don't I think it sounded like, good, uh, bro. Uh, wait, it's because of Freddie Prince's heart. Uh, Freddie Mercury, sorry, not Freddie Prince. Freddie Mercury's heart. It's hard to sound like him. Yeah. But it's just a high voice. So I think it it sounds bad but funny. It was kind of good. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. We yeah, had a good time. It sounds bad but fun. Him and the waitress yelling, "Scott Amos, Scott Amos, <laughs> you do the fun, no, no. That, It was funny. Yeah. yeah, it was a good. It was a, it was a good night. Yeah, it was a good night. Yeah, and then uh, then we slept, but we we've been finished the whole time. We because it, it was a lot of like fly here, go there, go yeah. upstairs. Go. It was a lot of craziness. and everything was like four a uh, four hour drive. Yeah, <sighs> four hour drive, five hour plane ride. It was exhausting, but it was a lot of fun. Like I had a blast with you guys. Yeah, he said he's living his best life. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, he's very happy. Yeah. You f you finally. Everything uh, that he dreamt of as a child happened. He saw a lady pee, and he drank <laughs> four-year-old milk. Oh, yeah. That's, what a week. And he pulled out a knife, took a knife yeah. on the plane. Yeah. Pulled a knife on a plane. He tried to hijack it. <laughs> he was like, okay, I'm going on tour. We're going to be going on a plane. Well, no. Look, Need a knife. Look, it's a survival I'm gonna knife. I'm going to bring a sword. I'm not fucking <laughs> mental. Yeah, I'm not. I'm bringing it just in People case. People are going to look at me like I'm fucking crazy. Well, no, 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 no. Like, that was a survival knife. Like, you could start a fire with it. 
How are you going to start a fire, with, a fire a with a knife? Unless there's you a I'm going to demand that someone gives me there's a, a no, guy no, no, with no. a lighter. So here's the thing. Start a, here's the thing. Let me explain. Start a fire so here's the face. Thing. What yeah, you yeah. do is you get a bit of branches. You get a bit of some of the, some of those dried dead leaves and or whatever. And then you get a guy with a lighter. No, no. You kind of you kind of like chop away. You kind of peel away at the branches. You make like kind of like a fire starter type of shit. And then you grab a stone. And because it's steel, you basically fucking keep knocking it. And it causes sparks. And eventually. Isn't it easier to bring a lighter? <laughs> and you're a smoker. You already have a lighter. Yeah, you like, already have why, a lighter. Yeah, you you smoke. You have a lighter. Why do you need Guys, a Guys, I'm going to start a fire for us for 20 minutes. Like, Poseidon, don't you have a lighter? Well, in case. Touche. <laughs> it was also in case the lighter wouldn't work because in the cold, lighters don't work too well. So in the cold, we're going to wait six hours while you find a rock. No, no. It takes like. the ice off of it. Because no. right, a rock will be full of ice. Oh, but uh, just the hitting of the knife will generate heat. Or you could grab two rocks and just generate knock heat. Them. Yeah. yeah. So you hitting the rock is going to generate well, heat. Well, yeah, because it's um, uh, what's it called? Do you think that's what caused global warming? Oh, that yeah, might be it. Too many fucking uh, geniuses with knives. Too many survivalists. <laughs> well, no, because it's uh, it's an impact, right? There's an impact, and it causes sparks. It causes heat. Causes sparks. You're a hundred percent right about yeah. that. Yeah. However, oh, I don't know, think it's gonna. Just the sparks are going to cause enough heat you know, for us to survive. Have you ever tried to start a, far, a fire with just rocks? Uh, no. It's I, hard I've, as shit. I've tried to do it with... Um, with branches and yeah, doing Yeah, branches. This. Very difficult as that well. That takes forever. Yeah, yeah. I managed You get well. like one... Did you? Oh, fuck. You get a spark yeah. after an hour. I think I tried at my dad's place because he was doing like survival shit. He had he has axes and stuff and like shit like that. I mean survival shit. Like 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 his he, survival tactics was getting away from you. Ha- actual <laughs> axes or just axe body spray? Uh, well axes, no axes to <laughs> <laughs> I'm <No>. surviving. <laughs> no, he has axes to chop his own wood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh so you know, and then I was I think I was trying I think I managed, but like after a while, bro. You managed to start a fire with wood? Yeah, but it, it took forever, I bro. I think I managed. I think I managed. That's why that's how I know that he's lying. That makes it sound very fake. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I, think. I, you know, I, gen- I generated. You ever been like, to Australia? I think I've been. To Australia. No, no, yeah, like yeah. like there was smoke and shit. You didn't start a fire. Yeah, you didn't start a fire. I caused heat. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You got sweaty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> attempted to lie, <laughs> but you did definitely not start a fire. <laughs> He'd be the worst survivalist, especially because the way he eats. Yeah. But, all right. We're going to eat off the land. I know. You just catch a rabbit. Which one of these trees has Twinkies? <laughs> <laughs> They'd wake up the next day. Who ate all the rabbits? <laughs> <laughs> there are no more rabbits left. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so what did you take from you? If you want to tell people a lesson that you found out about the North Coast, what would you say? Like a... Is, is there a lesson even to bring home? From I There's a always a lesson. To not trust you when you go to the bathroom? Mm. Well, treat you like a child because you, in le- fact, are a big child? The lesson I learned is to, you know, don't don't Flush the toilet. Don't, don't leave your shit floating. Yeah, he learned that at 28. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> I'm glad I learned a valuable life lesson. Well, because look, what I usually do, Just like, let's say, happens, of a bathroom. let's say it happens in my place. I don't have a plunger. You don't have a plunger. Actually, no, I do. I have one now because I needed one at some point, and I think I stole it from somebody. It's a small one. (laughs) Can I use your bathroom for a second? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I had to hide up my ass. It was terrible. Wait, so this, so at your house, you would just run out, be like, "This is this is future Poseidon's problem." No, no, no. So what I would do? Tell your neighbor, don't go to my bathroom. (laughs) No, no. So so what I would do is I I would uh, I would flush, and let's say it would get stuck. I'd wait there, wait till the water refills in the in the and tank, then flush again. and then flush again. And usually, I would say ninety five percent of the time, it just went down. And the other five so percent, lu- I've been lucky. The other five percent is that carpet. Uh, you don't have carpet. No, I don't. So the other five percent, you had to go hands first. No, no. The other five percent was when I had to find that mini plunger. Well, why didn't you? Just, if you had a mini plunger, why didn't you just use that from the beginning? But I didn't. I had to go get it. I think I bought it. What do you mean you think you? I don't understand what's going on. So yeah. uh, this is why. So let's say you had a situation, Makes yeah. no sense. and then you bought a plunger. Yeah. So now you own the plunger if you bought it. Oh, but so I hadn't bought it yet. The second I time it happened. Though, no, no, no. There are too many. I think. I yeah, think. Yeah. I think. I think no, no. he actually shits in a bucket. I think. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been shitting in the bathtub since he got that fight. I think the reason why he steams his bathroom is because he hopes he'll help yeah. melt and push the shit down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I had bought a plunger when I first ran into the situation. It wasn't going down even after the second flush. But you mentioned multiple situations. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'll happen and then I'll flush a second time and it all goes down. No issues. That's 
That's not what you were saying, though. Th- that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> I think. And now I have a bidet. How does that help the shit? Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't throw a bidet. Yeah, I don't throw toilet paper anymore, and it, it all just goes straight down. Or you just wash your ass with this water. Nah, bro, it's Is it fucking, powerful? Bro, it's amazing. I it's love powerful. It. It's powerful, yes. It sprays up your ass. Sometimes it does go up my ass and more poop comes out. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So I get everything out. Well, not everything, but you get a lot of it. <laughs> Why this is the shit episode. <laughs> They're all shit episodes. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> not like that. I mean like the poop one. Like the No, we've had some poop related yeah. episodes yeah. before. Whenever your mic is turned on. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, uh, if you enjoyed this, and why wouldn't you really? There's also a French podcast available. It's called Mike Ward Suzakut, the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet. And you can get it on Patreon, patreon.com slash Suzakut. That's where you get the entire back catalog of episodes. That's where you get tickets to watch it live. And also, if you're enjoying that, Mike Ward Suzakut will be live at the Montreal Bell Center this summer, July 22nd, 2022. Watch your milk for the expiration dates. You should not have milk that expires July 22nd. I want to apologize right away to the Molson family. <laughs> uh, the ladies' bathroom will be wrecked. That won't be my fault. I'll find out about it in August. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're warning the Montreal Canadiens that that's what's going to happen in their bathrooms. So tickets are on sale now at centrebrag.com. Links are in the description. You can see a little graphic here popping up for you. Get tickets for that. Uh, should be sold out by the time the event happens. Only a couple thousand tickets left. Already 18,000 have been sold. So it's going to be the event of the summer. Yeah, right crazy. smack dab in the middle of the Montreal Just for Last Comedy Festival. So Poseidon, you can also follow his antics. He's on Twitch, twitch.tv slash deepposeidon69. He's also on Twitter and Instagram with the same handle, deepposeidon69. He could teach you how to make a fire. Uh, he could teach you how to not flush toilets. He could teach you how to steam your apartment real, real nice for the winter. Patreon.com slash Pantels. We're going to catch me and Poseidon on all our other podcasts. Patreon.com is where you go to sign up to get exclusive content uh, and everything first. And in French, I'm currently running a uh, test run. The Rodage, testing my hour in different bars on the city. First one announced is in Laval uh, at uh, the Poutine Bar in January, so tickets are available for that. Uh, and that's about it. We That's all we have to really plug, What's right? What's the date? Uh, uh, January 22nd. Jan- January 22nd, yeah. 2022. Two shows, one at 7.30 and one at 9.30 for my French hour. And only $20 a ticket. Only 20 bucks. I'm going to have some fun guests. I'm going to bring uh, comedian friends of mine. I'm not going to say who, but people are going to be there to fuck around. So it's just going to be a fun night of us shooting the shit. No uh, no stress. Right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And go fuck yourself.